Look how beautiful that is. And not only is it an amazing looking coin, but it has enhanced levels of security. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great and staying safe. Today I'm gonna to be unboxing my brand new gold coin. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a review and talking about my international Troy ounce of gold project that I'm working on. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you wanna get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. So, last night, this arrived in the mail. I don't know why it came in such a big box. It's not that big of a box. For, but for the coin that I got, this is pretty huge. I already opened it up and took a peek. Now, for those of you who do not know, this was essentially my Christmas present to myself. This is something that I ordered. I converted my dollars into it. I'm working on my international Troy ounce of gold. Many of you know, I'll explain later in the video. But this is something that I had been wanting for the last couple of months. This is something that I have been basically eyeballing nearly every single day. I knew that this is the coin that I wanted to get. And the last time I picked up any gold at all was September. So it's been about three months since I picked up any gold in any way, shape, or form. That was my 10th ounce gold Krugerrand. Many of you probably already saw that video. But I'm finally going to be adding to the International Troy Ounce. So here we go. Oh, by the way, they did an excellent job packaging this because before it was even open, every single section was completely covered in tape. It was like surrounded in tape. But did a pretty good job. Got it from Hero Bullion, by the way. Some bubble wrap and this little envelope right here is where the gold coin is hanging out right now. Real gold is not afraid of the melting pot. This is a magnet, by the way. It's pretty cool, I guess. Shout out to Hero Bullion. And here is the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful 2021 Britannia. Look at that right there. Look how beautiful that is. And not only is it an amazing looking coin, but it has enhanced levels of security. I'll explain once I take this out of the little plastic flip. I will be putting it in a little airtight capsule here on the other side before we take it out. The queen. I know everybody likes looking at the queen. So this is the 2021 Gold Britannia. It has a little bit of a different look than previous years, if we're talking about silver or gold. I know a lot of people are really excited about this 2021 Britannia, and they had a lot of good reasons to be excited about it. I mean, number one, look how gorgeous that coin is, but more importantly, this has enhanced levels of security. Let me explain. As soon as I take this out of the little plastic flip, I'm gonna put it in an airtight right here, right now. I'll show you the progress of the International Troy Ounce. And then we'll get into what's different about this as opposed to previous years. So many of you know I got these airtight capsules. Just a couple of days ago, I think, just last week maybe, I ordered them in September. The same time I ordered this 10th ounce gold Krugerrand, 
This thing sat in the little plastic flip for the last three months. USPS really screwed up my order. It was out for delivery and then somehow it failed to deliver and then I had to schedule a re-delivery and then I did that and the next day it still didn't show up and then the day after that it apparently failed to deliver again. Don't know what's going on with USPS, but okay. And then since it failed to deliver twice, after failing to deliver the first time around, and then after failing to deliver the second time around, after I scheduled a re-delivery, they sent it back to the person who sent it to me. I have no idea what happened. I did, in fact, get a refund. And then I just place another order. So let me open up this little capsule. Okay, here we go. Boom. Okay. 2021 Britannia has been capsulated. Now I can actually hold on to it. And funny enough, I did a poll earlier today seeing if anybody could guess which gold coin I got without showing it off. And it looks like most people went with the Britannia. I'm assuming most of those people are VIP club members because I did give VIP club members a sneak peek last night in the VIP club. If anybody's interested in joining, it'll be linked in the description. And by the way, I have a brand new giveaway going on right now in the VIP club. All you have to do to be entered is join the VIP club before January 1st. You're automatically entered. You don't have to do anything else. And who knows, you might win. Link in the description if you want to join. So... These gold coins don't necessarily need to be put in capsules. I've said it many times in the past, capsulating certain coins could be a waste of currency because you don't really need to put Maple Leafs and Eagles and Krugerrands and Britannias and Philharmonics in airtights. The reason I do it is because, well, I don't actually do it. I just put one of each in an airtight. It's not like I put all of my gold in airtights. Just one of each. I know the lighting's pretty bad. Let me turn those off for just a quick second. Just to give everyone a solid look at these coins. I wonder if I put that. There we go. That's not too terrible. Every time I fool around with the lights, I screw something up. But these are one of each of my gold coins that I have. Now, this Britannia, the Krugerrand, and the Philharmonic, these are the only ones that I have. Before I decided to work on building an international troy ounce of gold, I had only stacked gold maples and eagles and then I came up with the international troy ounce of gold idea I have no idea if I came up with the concept I believe I did but I'm sure somebody's done it before me so we can just discard the Philharmonic for a second because that was my 10,000 subscriber trophy that I got myself. And it's a quarter ouncer, so it doesn't really fit into my international troy ounce of gold that I'm working on right here. For those of you who do not know what I mean by that, an international troy ounce of gold, it's 10 different one-tenth of a troy ounce gold coins from 10 completely different countries. So we have the British Britannia, the latest edition. We have an American Eagle. We have a Canadian Maple Leaf. And we have a South African Krugerrand. So I'm officially 40% of the way there. Come January, I'll probably get myself either 
an Austrian or Australian coin, so a Philharmonic, or potentially a kangaroo or a kookaburra or something like that. Maybe later down the road I'll get myself a panda. There's a couple different gold coins out there. I can get the Libertad. Those carry a much higher premium, though. I can get the Elephant, which also typically carries a higher premium as well. But point being is I want to get 10 different one-tenth of a troy ounce gold coins from 10 completely different countries. There's no real reason I'm doing this. It just seemed like a fun idea at the time, and I've been running with it ever since, and I'm officially 40% complete. And then hopefully next month I will be 50% complete. And then after I complete my international troy ounce of gold with 10 different gold coins from 10 different countries, I'm going to do it all over again, but with quarter ounces. And I already have the Philharmonic. So if I add an eagle, a maple, and I don't know, maybe a kookaburra or something, that's four different quarter ounce gold coins from four different countries. That's all I need to do. Once I complete that, I'll work my way up to an international troy ounce of half ounce gold coins from two different countries. That should be pretty easy. All I need is two. So, all the gold aside, let's talk about the New Britannia. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. It is a rather small coin. Let's get it into focus. There we go. So, in the bottom left, you can actually see, or hopefully you should be able to see, that circle. That's pretty new. That's a security feature. Could look like a padlock or the trident symbol. And the waves in the background, that's new as well. Anyone familiar with the Britannia coin knows that those waves, that wavy design in the back, that's brand new. The 2020 Britannias did not have that. Somewhat of a similar feature, but obviously different if you're familiar with the Britannia. And then obviously on the other side, we got the Queen. So I'm pretty excited about this. This is something that I've been wanting for the last couple of months. I guess you can say this was my Christmas present to myself. I ordered it, I believe, the Monday before Christmas, and Christmas was just on Friday. It did not arrive in time, but hey, better late than never. It can show up whenever it wants to show up. As long as I get it, I'm happy. It doesn't have to be on Christmas, but this was my Christmas present to myself. So, pretty excited about that. Beautiful, beautiful coin. I'm curious, everybody watching this right now, I heard a lot of people talking over the last couple of months. A lot of people were excited about 2021 Britannias, regardless of if you're talking about silver or if you're talking about gold. A lot of people were excited about this. I don't think I've seen or heard a single complaint about the new look. But it's not really a new look. It's the same look, but with new and enhanced levels of security. It's the same thing with a couple things added on. So it's not like a whole design change or anything like that. Like we're apparently going to see the Silver Eagle and the Gold Eagle in 2021. Those coins are going to get a whole new look. This right here, same thing, but enhanced. An improved version of what currently exists. And when it comes to safety and security, I'm all for it. I'm in. So when I found out that one of the most recognizable gold coins on the planet was getting enhanced levels of security, anti-counterfeit technology added to the beautiful and recognizable coin, the Britannia, I knew I had to get one or 12. I might have to get some more of these, or at least in silver. I'd be more than happy to get plenty of silver Britannias 2021, or really of any year, but I'm just 
very excited about the new security features. I don't know how well I'm going to get this to focus. I'll try my best. You can see padlock. Trident. There we go. That's how you do it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful coin. Let's just gaze at it for a few. The Union flag over on the right. I'm going to keep it facing this direction. Unless some of you want to take a gander at the Queen for a few. Oh my god! You can pause the video and stare all you want. That's as much screen time as I'm willing to give her. But as for this side, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous coin. And I'm actually a pretty big fan of the waves in the background. I really like the way that looks. So if any of you already have a 2021 Britannia, I don't care if it's gold, I don't care if it's silver, head on down to the comments and let me know. What are your thoughts? You like the design, the enhancements, the additions? It's hard to come across someone that isn't a fan of what the Britannia looks like. And I know this is a really small coin, so it's hard to fully appreciate just how beautiful it is. The smaller the coin, the less detail you're going to see. If I ended up getting a one troy ounce 2021 gold Britannia, obviously it's quite a bit bigger. Bigger the coin, the more detail, the more you'd be able to appreciate it. But by the way, this is a four nines fine gold coin. For those of you wondering, four nines fine gold. It is pure gold. It is not like the gold eagle. Contrary to popular belief, the gold American eagle is not a pure gold coin. And I don't even have to tell you that. Just by looking at these gold coins, you should be able to tell with how much darker, and I know the lighting isn't the greatest in here, but. I don't even have to tell you, you can, you should probably be able to tell that there's some copper mixed into this, copper and silver. So, it's not a pure gold coin. It does contain one tenth of a troy ounce of gold, but it weighs a little bit more than a tenth of a troy ounce of gold because it has other metals mixed into it, silver, copper. And very similar could be said about the Krugerrand. I don't believe it has any silver in it, but it definitely does have some copper. And you can tell just by looking at it. But other coins out there, such as the Britannia, or the Philharmonic, or the Maple Leaf, pure gold coins, pure gold, beautiful coins. Now, funny enough, when I first started stacking gold, my first piece ever, as I showed off the other day in a video, was this little one gram gold bar. It was also my last one gram gold bar because I didn't really understand how premiums worked at the time. So I moved on over to coins and I bumped the denomination up from one gram to one tenth of a troy ounce instead. And I started out with gold eagles. And then funny enough, I realized later down the road that 
They are not pure gold. And at the time, I cared. At the time, I was discouraged from the gold eagles. I was like, no, I want pure gold coins. So I stopped stacking gold eagles and I started stacking gold maples. I said, okay, the maple leaf is arguably similar to the eagle and the Krugerrand and the Britannia. One of the most recognizable coins on the planet. So I stuck to maple leaves. And then early this year, I decided to begin working on an international Troy ounce. And I said, okay, no more eagles, not because they're not fully pure gold, but because I have them already. No more maple leaves, already have those already. Let me try to get one from everywhere. So I've made some progress. Just a fun little project I'm working on. Some people might disagree with me for doing that, but it's not your currency, not your money, not your problem. So I hope my method of stacking doesn't ruin anybody's day. <laughs> but I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. What you think of the 2021 Britannia coin, regardless of which precious metal. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways. I got a brand new one going on right now. If you want to be entered, the only thing you have to do is join the VIP Club before January 1st. You're automatically entered. You might win. I'm also doing discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my YouTube videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,500, and I appreciate that. And I got a brand new video dropping tonight, one that I was supposed to drop last night, but something happened. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. What are your thoughts on the 2021 Britannia? Are you a fan of how this looks. I would imagine it's probably difficult to not be a fan of how this looks. I think it's a gorgeous coin, but let me know. What do you think of the Britannia in general? It doesn't even have to be 2021. I know a lot of people love the Britannia in 2020, in 2019, 2018, 2017. Everyone seems to love the Britannia. But what are your thoughts on the new and enhanced levels of security, the new security features? padlock trident i really like that and the waves in the background of course head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you tomorrow and remember don't you dare stop smiling peace